If you're wondering what one of our favorite movie stars from the past, Tara Reid, has been up to these days, so have I. It turns out the starlet has been working on her Hollywood comeback for a few years now and has been residing in sunny Los Angeles in a stunning and convenient condo. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Former American Pie actress Tara Reid actually began her career as a child actor back in the early 80s on the television series Child's Play. A seven-year-old from New Jersey, her name is Tara Reid. Tara, please. Famous I ever get. And then they were like, I didn't ask her that. From those humble beginnings, Tara would work her way up the Hollywood ladder on her way to becoming one of the industry's biggest stars in the late 90s with appearances in films like The Big Lebowski, Cruel Intentions, and National Lampoon's Van Wilder. In that movie, she starred alongside a super young Ryan Reynolds. At the peak of her popularity, Tara would earn herself a net worth in the $2 million range, but unfortunately, her party girl exploits and other questionable choices began to outweigh her potential future earnings as an actress. Tara would eventually blame her failed career on a number of poor decisions, like say the one season of her travel series, Paradise. Then there were her numerous botched plastic surgeries and complete inability to avoid a good party. By 2008, Tara was checking herself into rehab and would later re-emerge ready to embrace her D-list celebrity status. From 2013 to 2018, she'd star in six different installments of the Sharknado franchise and over the past couple years of pandemic-inspired lockdowns, she's been planning her big comeback from the comfort of her own home a two-bedroom apartment that she's been living in since her Hollywood heyday. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, today checking out the home of Tara Reid. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me over on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Tara Reid purchased her Hollywood condo back in the year 2000, fresh off the biggest hit of her career, American Pie. And after negotiating what was no doubt a major pay hike for the soon to be released American Pie 2. Located in one of the most secure and sought after buildings in Tinseltown, known as the Hollywood Versailles Tower, Tara's 1,087 square foot home is located on the 10th floor and it comes with all the killer views you could ask for, especially for a home that only cost the actress a paltry 266 k Of course, there's a reason the place was a steal, and according to Tara herself, the home only comes with two rooms, an open concept living room and a kitchen combo, as well as a master bedroom. But hey, at least there's also two bathrooms with tons of custom granite in here, cause living with just one bathroom is a definite no-no, trust me. Having lived that way for a while, I know how important two bathrooms can be. Now without a doubt, the best part of Tara's unit are the city and ocean sight lines that bring to mind a peaceful serenity anytime you view them from the 10th story balcony, which also just happens to feature some stylish Chinese earth slates. Returning back to the kitchen for a second, it boasts elegant granite countertops, custom maple cabinets, wall-to-wall -wall mirrors, beautiful hardwood floors, and a killer breakfast bar with some equally stylish bar stools. Meanwhile, Tara's also got an extremely large and interesting art collection, the feature of which is definitely a gigantic portrait of Marilyn Monroe that was gifted to Tara for Christmas a couple of years ago. Now, about eight years after moving into the home, Tara would actually list the place for $885,000, right around the time that her professional life was more or less falling apart. Unfortunately, she never found a taker. 13 years years later, Tara would find herself still living here when the pandemic came crashing down on all of us. During the worldwide lockdowns, Tara's already small house would become even more crowded. That's because not only did her new boyfriend Nathan move in, but she also invited her good friends and former Big Brother housemates Irish musical act Jedward to join her as well. Speaking with Page Six, Tara told them about the living arrangement. We've all been locked in our houses for months. It's not easy. I have a small apartment. It's two rooms, so it's not easy. The other guys I'm also quarantining with are my two best friends that I've grown up with. Right now, to have them in my life here, they truly have made this experience so much better than it would have been for me. 
Also known as John and Edward Grimes, these two are famous for starring on the UK version of X Factor, as well as for their performances in the Eurovision Song Contest. Tara would meet the twins in 2011 during the filming of Celebrity Big Brother, and they became so close that she would later stay with them in Ireland for two months, living in their grandmother's home. Speaking of that time in their life, Jedward told Tufab. Our granny thought she was Marilyn Monroe. She had like Alzheimer's. The trio would reunite in 2020 with the big haired brothers joining Tara at her home in March, a day after St. Patrick's Day. Once they got there, the brothers immediately got to work writing songs, performing on her balcony, and even cleaning Tara's windows. As for what Tara would get up to with Nathan, well, they also liked to cook and clean with one another, and when they weren't doing that, they were binge watching series like Vikings in the span of about a week. I did that too. Of course, that doesn't mean it's always fun and games. Sometimes with this many people living in such close proximity, it can be very hard. Tara told Page Six. You're always in each other's faces. I'm doing so much business for my films and my boyfriend's doing business as well. He has mortgages. It's been difficult. We're trying to make the best of it, but we're doing the best that we can. And make the best of it, Tara ultimately did. All this free time on her hands enabled Tara to totally take back control of her own career. After spending the better part of the decade as something of a cautionary tale, Tara is ready to become a big time producer and has been lining up over nine projects to create over the next few years. Speaking with Too Fab about her upcoming slate, Tara told them, When this time came, I was like, how can I do this? I went on LinkedIn and started doing research, contacting different directors and writers. I've been involved with all that and helping them with my connections with distribution. It's just been an incredible time in a certain way that this lockdown has given me the chance to do this. One of these upcoming projects is the film Mash's Mushroom, a thriller in which Tara will play the titular character, a workaholic mom whose birthday goes awry when everyone at her party is drugged by mysterious purple powder. Also set to star Vivica A. Fox, Billy Zane, and Beverly D'Angelo. Tara can't wait for this film to finally see release, and she has hopes of it turning into a big temple franchise. Will that actually happen? And come to think of it, will Tara Reid ever find a buyer for her two room condo? I guess we'll have to see. Well, that wraps up our Tara Reid house tour. After seeing her condo in LA and what she's been up to lately, what did you guys think? Be sure to let me know down in those comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.